Hi, I'm Mariam, a Lebanese living in Israel. What is happening currently in Israel? Why are hundreds of thousands of Israeli citizens protesting the streets? This year, the 2023 Israeli judicial reform was proposed by the Minister of Justice, Yariv Levin, and the chair of the Knesset's Constitution, Law and Justice Committee, Simcha Rotman. The reform includes a series of changes to the judicial system. For weeks, hundreds of thousands of Israeli citizens from across the political spectrum have protested nationwide, blocking main roads in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. They fear the proposed changes are a threat to democracy. Politicians, economists, lawyers, academics, high-tech workers, and even military chiefs are concerned the reform is too extreme and might weaken the Supreme Court and the State of Israel. What are the main points of the reform? 1. The Israeli Knesset will be able to override Supreme Court decisions with a simple voting majority of 61 out of 120 Knesset seats, meaning the Supreme Court will have no authority to limit any basic law, regardless of its content. Two, the ruling government coalition will be able to control the appointment of the Supreme Court judges. Three, the Supreme Court would no longer be able to judge Knesset legislations or decisions on the grounds of reasonability. And four, the ministers could appoint their own legal advisors, limiting the Supreme Court to only issue advice without the ability to make actual binding decisions. While many Israelis support reforms to limit the Israeli High Court of Justice, they believe the current proposals are too extreme and strip the Supreme Court of its power instead of limiting it. As for now, the Knesset passed the first out of three readings of the bill.